YouTube. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my tiny house. I'm in my pajamas. I'm gonna do a tiny house tour. For those of you who don't know, I recently moved into a tiny house. We recently moved into a tiny house and I live at Alveus now at the sanctuary and I bought a tiny house. It's 390 square feet and I have no water or septic or electricity yet, but I will. And when I have that, it's gonna be so sick, but right now, I basically just live in a really nice tent with my ferrets. And I'm gonna show you around. There's not a ton to it, but I love it. I'm super, super happy here. I moved in here like a month ago, and so far it's been great. Let me show ya. I was gonna walk outside, but it's raining, and I don't want to, but these are my steps. And then you walk in the door. Here's my dirty welcome mat and my boots. And this is my living room. Cute. It's only 390 square feet, like I said, but it's really tall, so it feels really big. Don't mind the floor. It's muddy, because it's dirty, it's wet outside. Yeah, this is my living room. Very cozy, comfy, yay. I have a TV, it doesn't work because there's no electricity. I have my, my fancy table that opens. I still have my guitar here, I have my longboard here, which like, obviously I can't ride anywhere. Those are candles, they're not beer cans. Well, they were beer cans. They're repurposed into candles, kind of cool. Henry the Roomba is here. I have my blankets over here. It's my couch for my apartment. I have some fake florals. The foxes are right over there. And the rest of the sanctuary is down there. Those are feathers from birds at Alves. Mask, headlamp, umbrella station, because I have to put on this headlamp if I have to pee in the middle of the night, because I go to the nutrition house where there's a bathroom to pee. But again, it's kind of a rainy day. It's a little gloomy, so it doesn't look that beautiful, but maybe I'll try to film some B-roll when it looks prettier and you can see it in like different kinds of light. That would be cool. This is my kitchen. Pretty cute. It's a lot of space. It takes up most of the house, which I'm stoked about because I cook all the time. This I'm gonna put up here. Um, but it's really heavy, so I haven't done that yet. The horse thing is gonna go above my TV. I have a full-length mirror over here. Sorry, my kitchen, air fryer, toaster, my cups, my matcha, that's not an ad, my potato bowl, onion bowl, cooking stuff. I painted this. It's uh, whales in the sky. This is my cups and bowls and plates. I have a microwave, I have a stove, I have my Tupperware in here for my meal prep stuff. There's a food cabinet, this is my Asian food cabinet. This is my white side food cabinet. I'm half Japanese, so I split it 50-50. I have little pumpkin decorations, I have my vitamins. Big, nice big sink, this is my water jug. Um, right now, I go down to the nut house and fill it up like once a day. This is the water for me and my ferrets. All my spices are here, my calendar's here. It's not filled out right now. Shopping list, weekly planner, again, not filled out. And that's the kitchen. <gasps> oh my gosh, I made this. I made myself a mosaic backsplash. I thrifted a bunch of dishes from Goodwill and I smashed them and then I uh, glued them into designs. So I have a little praying mantis here. I still have to grout it. Uh, right now, it's just on mosaic mesh and uh, tile glue. But I did it around this whole thing. Check this out. A bee. Monarch butterfly caterpillar. Monarch butterfly. Fire ant. These are all Texas bugs and pollinators. Except for that one. He's kind of random. It's just a beetle. But yeah, all thrifted dishes and thrifted glass. I'm really proud of this really beautiful. It took me like a, a full week, I think, of just like sitting and, and working on it, but I love it. I'm super happy with it. So that's that. Then you go down this hall and here is my bathroom. Uh, it's really dim because there's no light, but I put up this wallpaper. I have my towels and I have my moisturizer and my makeup stuff, my glasses, soap. This is some of my hair stuff and well, this was my bath salt stuff, but now I don't have a bathtub. Uh, this is the shower. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually a pretty nice size shower, but obviously it's not in use because there's no water. So now it's just like, oh my gosh. Now it's just like that. That mirror is gonna go here, but I have to take this one off first, which is gonna be a, a process. Oh, and then um, I have my, in here, girl things. And I put up a little shelf. 
Um, so all my stuff's in there, which is pretty nice. He's here. This is a washer dryer hookup. So you have stacked washer dryer here that I haven't bought because it doesn't matter right now. This is storage space, little nook. Um, I have some craft stuff up here, craft stuff up here, and then cleaning stuff down here. And then this is my stream room or office, tiny office. Don't mind this. <laughs> um, this is right now, uh, I have an extension cord running from the barn because the ferrets live in here. And so I wanted to bring a heater in because it is like 35 degrees in Texas right now. Uh, so it gets really cold in here because I don't have heat, but this room is heated. It really only heats this room, but that's enough for the ferrets. I built this cage for the ferrets out of one of my closets. This is one of my closets. So it opens like this. And this is most of my, this is all my dresses uh, and jackets. I had to downsize a lot on my clothing. Um, all my shoes are, are down here as well, just kind of stacked up my belts and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my closet at the moment. But I figured there's two closets. I could down, closets, I could downsize even more and make one into my ferret cage because they really like having levels. So uh, I took the closet door, I cut it out. Um, I bought some hardware cloth, um, nailed it to the back. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a sign, so I'm gonna write their names on this. But yeah, it just works like the other closet door slides. I uh, put in these shelves and then put in ramps uh, with some traction and hinges um, like that. So they can go up and down these ramps and they have a hammock up here. Their cleaning stuff goes up there and they have this little house down there as well and their litter boxes. Here's mushroom. What do you think about the tiny house? Do you like it? Okay, he's got a staring problem. Um, stream setup. Uh, my camera's down at the studio right now, but PC, there's some storage under here. These are all my tools down there. Um, and then like extra lights, extra mics, extra cams, stuff like that as a trash can, my chair my fidget here. And then I did a mini gallery wall on this side. I did these paintings. This is, I painted Bean a while ago, 2021. Uh, painted this in like 2019 or 2020. It's a golden eagle, just a lot more color. My dad took this picture, I painted this. That's actually Bean um, from his release. This is me working a cow. This is my mentor. This is my horse and his little fancy stall tag. My brother got me that from Spain. And then some pictures of my family, uh, my parents, my brothers and sisters, brothers and sister. And yeah, that's the office. Boys, rate the office. Hey. Anyway, that's that. Oh, um, and then this is just extra. Here he is. This is an essential for my stream background. Ahoy, he lives here. Uh, and then I just have like storage drawers, you know, some medical drawer, all that jazz. The last thing is my loft. Um, so I sleep up here. My bed's up there. Uh, and it's actually a pretty big space. And this is my ladder. So I climb up here. And this is where I sleep. It's a king size mattress because this loft goes all the way back. It's huge, which is sick. I have my laundry and my fuzzy socks <laughs> and all my socks, my hats are here. I could not find a dresser that was short enough to fit in this space. So I got these like cube organizers. So all my clothes are in these six cubes that aren't in the closet. These four clear drawers are crafting supplies. And then I have one big white crafting sheet that I like to lay in between the two because all my crafting stuff is here. So I can paint here, I can felt here, I can sew here, I can tie dye things, I can whatever I end up doing, bleaching things, whatever, I, I love crafts. Um, so I end up crafting here. A TV is gonna go here. I would like to build a bookshelf around the TV like that on both sides. Uh, and put the TV in the middle so I can have all my books up here because I do like reading up here because I don't have power right now. I have 
my candle here and a little lantern. This one's actually really cool. Check that out. Pretty handy. Crafting drawers, portable battery, because this is where I charge my phone at night. I have my iPad here, because um, I watch shows sometimes at night. My earrings that should not be here. Another battery, I don't know if we can show that one on YouTube. And yeah, and here's my view. There's my truck down there, but pretty sweet. That's my extension. That's where my extension cord is, because it rains and you can't have it get wet. And then my view from this side's even nicer. Pretty sweet and cozy. Hooray! And here's my friends. They live here too. Oh, baby Stompy. When she was tiny. <laughs> Amazing. All my books are still in that drawer boxed up. Oh, I also have stars on the ceiling. Check that out. How sick is that? I'll have to record at night. Well, I don't know if it'll do it justice, but they're really cool at night. It feels like you're sleeping under the stars. It's really cozy. A view of the loft. Cozy. That is pretty much it, guys. Uh, in case you're wondering, here, let me show you. In case you're wondering, no, I can't stand in this loft. I can kneel though. It's this tall. Um, so it's kind of annoying to have to go all the way back to the end, but for the most part, I just go this far. Um, and then I walk on my knees or I just walk like this to get out of it. But that's the loft. It's like a slumber party every night. But yeah, I think that's it. Stuff in my cabinets, cooking stuff, you know. The ferrets get to be out as, as much as possible because they like it. Anyway, that's the tiny house. It's like staying in a really, really nice tent right now because it's not hooked up to anything, but it's so beautiful and I love it and it's so cozy and it's all I need. It's the dream. We're thriving. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Say like and subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next one.